These are the world's oldest football boots. And they are just one of many things we'll be testing in today's video as we take a trip through football history. Starting with the kits. First up, we're testing the modern kit using a football circuit drill. And the new kit got off to a great start. Left foot, right foot, yeah. And again, set me. What a finish! Close control, sharp movement, and they've shot into the top corner. A very solid display all around. And now it's time to test the 1900s boots. This should be interesting. But to get to the 1900s pitch, I literally had to cross a swamp. I even almost fell in. So this really wasn't the best start for the old football. And now we had a new problem to deal with. Wait, is this mold on it? It's so old, they have mold on it. I don't even know if these are safe to wear. On top of that, I couldn't find an old pair of boots in my size. So I had to squeeze oh, into oh. these. And inevitably, that went wrong. There's literally a massive rip in the back. But even though my boot was ripped in half, look how long these laces are. And the laces were as long as my leg. I was ready to test them. Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm actually trying to run. Running in these literally felt like I was oh moving God, okay. in slow motion. Yeah, he sent me. Because of the material Let's of the go. boot, shooting can be quite painful. Ah! That hurts so much. Which I found out firsthand. I never want to wear these again. But unfortunately for me, we still had lots more to test, including playing a whole match in these boots. The first point goes to new football. Next, we're moving on to shooting techniques. In the modern day, we have a choice of many fancy techniques to use while shooting. Whereas in the 1900s, that wasn't the case. So we're going to test which style of shooting is actually most effective. Starting with the modern day. One thing that is clear to see is that the shooting techniques of today gives players more control and accuracy. But of course, that's not always the case. Now you see with this next technique, in the modern day, if you get it right, amazing. But when you get it wrong, it can go really badly. A bit like that. Even though I was having an off day, I managed to score this crazy trick shot from the corner and it took a wonder save from Zayn to save my Traveller attempt. Now for the old style shooting, we'll be using the same level ball they used 100 years ago. And this ball is so heavy. And to my surprise, my first shot wasn't as bad as I thought Wait, it'd be. Oh my, that was surprisingly good. I can't lie. But that luck didn't last. Oh, The way the boot was designed meant the only shooting oh. technique I could Ooh. use was a toe punt. I'm going to try the first knockable in the 1900s. Oh. <sighs> Wait, I got the rebound. I got the rebound. I got the rebound. I, in fact, did not have the rebound. I did at least manage to score one goal, but the final shot really summed up how the day was going. I just can't score. The new school football techniques takes the W. So for this next test, I called in a player with the best control that I know, but he was busy. So we have Zayn. <laughs> So in the modern day, we have boots specifically designed for control. So that means Zayn literally has no excuse but to get five out of five. Of course, of You're going to do it, yeah? No, you're not. Zayn's what? first touch, however, what? went like this. And this was his excuse. I got injury on my left knee. And after his next two attempts, I started That's to consider ball. stepping in to take his place. Where did we get this guy from? But luckily, his last few attempts Good were job. top class. Ah. Into the box. There you go, that's one. Go on, all the way into the box. Love it, love it, love it, love now it. Now let's see yes. if I can let's do go. any better let's in go. the old football okay. boots. What's this? Oh. Wait, that was a pass. That, that was actually a pass. And the rest of the attempts were kind of how you'd expect them to go. Neymar. Until the final two. Wait, wait. I'm taking it. And just off the fact that the scores oh. were close oh. at all. Wait. Hey, that's a result. That is a result. I'm going to give the point to the old boots. Next, we're testing the match day experience, starting with the old school. And before a match day, this is the change room. The pitch we were at was over 100 years old and didn't have change rooms. So we put our kit on on the side and then inspected the pitch. Upon first impressions, it was actually pretty decent. The nets were secure, but the goalposts were a little small. This grass is definitely drill cut. Overall, for such an old pitch, it wasn't bad at all. Unless you're comparing it to modern day clubs like Man City. They have state-of-the-art changing rooms fit for some of the best players in the world. The players have access to world-class preparation before the game in an environment specifically designed for psychological games. And on match day, here's what the players see. This whole area is for the home team, Man City. And this is for the away team. 
City have this mirror tunnel that leads out to the pitch, which is one of the best in the world. So it's no surprise that they play so well here. This point definitely goes to new football. In the modern day, we have access to all sorts of different training gear. But 100 years ago, that wasn't the case. The only piece of equipment they needed was a football. But for the fitness side, Zayn managed to convince me to let him coach me through it. Gotta do a lap around this whole pitch. Remember when you made me run? No. It's your time, buddy. Even though this is clearly just for revenge, there's no better way to get fit than with some old school running. I did have a wardrobe malfunction halfway through, but doing this kind of running two, three times a week would definitely improve my fitness. Now for the modern day, footballers have a wide choice of equipment to use that target certain areas for improvement. There are ladders, which are used to improve the quickness of your feet. Cones, which are used to improve agility. They even gave me a skipper rope, and I haven't skipped in years, so I might be bad at this. Ah! Well, that didn't go to plan. And when we got to the final modern day item, we stumbled across a slight problem. None of us had I, any honestly, idea on how to use it. What, someone else holds it? Oh, can you clip onto this? Or? Okay, we, we managed to make it work somehow. Ah! Broke it. Did we break it? Yes. I guess that's that. End of training. <laughs> Old football takes this point. VAR is ruining football. Old football was so dangerous. The game's gone soft. Were there even any rules? But the question is, which referees were better? Modern day or the old referees? We were testing the old style referee first. That's None of that celebration stuff. My main objective as the old style ref was to keep the game flowing as much as possible. And I guess that meant fouls didn't exist. Keep playing! Keep playing! Now I know some of you will be very confused as to why this goal counted. 2-0. You know? What? 2-0! But in the earliest version of football, you were actually allowed to use your hands. Being very lenient does have its cons though, because tensions did start to flare up. This is all part of the game! It's all part of the game! But overall, I think the players can agree I did a decent job. Now fast forward 100 years, it was time to test my refereeing expertise in the modern day. And within seconds, there was drama. Hey! Hey! What? You didn't touch him! What? You didn't touch him! You didn't touch him! And just like referees of today, you remember him? I wasn't shy to give out cards. Modern day referees are cracking down on dissent during matches, and I was no different. So multiple offenses only meant one thing. You're off. That's two offenses. The rest of the match wasn't too eventful, so it's time to throw in some VAR to spice things up. VAR chat. Hold on, VAR chat going on. <laughs> Can you follow me? Yeah! <laughs> The game ended 1-0, and let's just say at the end, I may have let the power get the better of me. You're off for looking at me funny, and you're off for an orange. To conclude, at the end of the day, whether it's the old referees or the new ones, referees are the most hated people in hey, football. Yes, yes. The next test we're doing is goalkeeper gloves. I don't wear goalie gloves often, but these actually feel pretty good. In the modern day, we have goalkeeper gloves with extra padding and are designed to have more grip. Let's get into some shots. All right, so it's my first attempt. And I'll give it to him. Zayn absolutely buried me with his first two attempts. But I don't know what came over me. Wow! What a save! What a save. Because I started to make some crazy saves. Ah! And in typical modern day goalie fashion, I made sure to make the save as dramatic as oh. possible. I got there. The last save was so good. It even made me consider trading in the attacker life for the net. I think I might have found my new position. But with his last attempt, Zane sent me for an early retirement in my new farm profession. Okay. Yeah, I, I think my days in goal are done. It was nice whilst it lasted, I guess. Now, a hundred years ago, goalkeepers didn't actually wear gloves. But because I want to leave this video with two working hands, I'll be wearing these instead. Unlike the modern day ones, the earliest goalkeeper gloves didn't have much grip. And that wouldn't have been ideal for obvious reasons. Zane, you ready? Let's do it. Oh! The lack of padding was pretty clear after the first save. The grip of the gloves weren't doing me any favours either. And neither were my boots. I literally just tried to shuffle over to get to the ball and my lace came out. I actually oh, did manage to make two saves. Oh, what save? But that form didn't last long. Okay, great. My shoes come off again. I now had two last chances to make my dream save. But luck just wasn't on our side. Next, we're testing shin pads. And it wasn't until 1990 that FIFA made shin pads a mandatory part of a player's kit. So before that, they would wear nothing. 
So we're gonna test which protective gear is actually better. What I'm about to do is very, very silly. I don't know why I'm doing this, so please don't try this at home. Wait, why do you look so happy? I don't try it at home. I might not be able to finish this video if this goes wrong. You wouldn't hurt me, right? No, no, never, never. Hey, ow! You didn't even hit my shin pad! Bro, why are your shin pads so sporting? Ah! I would have to lose my mind to even think about trying this with no shin pads. I have truly lost my mind now. All right, go, go, do it. Sure. Yes. Ah! <laughs> I'm okay. Before technology, you could only find out the weekend's match results in the newspaper. Whereas today, we can just use our phones. So for this next test, Zane over here is going to have five minutes to find the nearest newspaper. What? And if he doesn't, he'll have to do a full. Can you tell me about this? Off you go. Now, while Zane does this, let's get into the 2024 technology. Newspaper? Who even reads that anymore? Where am I meant to find the newspaper? In the modern day, we have access to apps like FootMob that have changed how people follow football. You can instantly get live scores, see stats, and follow your favorite teams all with a click of a button unlike Zane over here I'm determined to find this newspaper you can stay up to date with the Champions League and great we got Bayern Munich again the best part is it's completely free make sure you download footmob using the link in my description I wonder how Zane's doing uh, excuse me um, do you have a newspaper by any chance this might be harder than I thought in my hands I have two energy supplements one from the 1900s and one from today and as a forfeit Zane will be taking the 1901 and I'll take them off for today. Is this like water? Yeah, it, it is water. water. With, with a little, a little bit of something. That's fine. Yeah. Well, Zane, let's see if it's really fine. What is that? It's not that That's bad. horrible. It's not that bad, bro. He's overreacting. Oh it's God. just a little salt in the water. The old school practice of drinking salt with water helps replenish lost electrolytes and improve hydration, which enhances performance. But Zane clearly wasn't a fan. I was trying the flavored chews that give players an energy boost. It's nice. I like that. A lot better than your one. Mm, nice. But I'm gonna go for the old school for this one. Next, we're testing penalties. In the modern day, from 12 yards, players have an over 75% chance of beating the goalkeeper. But what would happen if the odds were evened out a bit? Well, in the 90s, that's exactly what they did. Players have five seconds to score with the goalkeeper rushing out of them, which gives the goalkeeper a better chance at saving it. I've got a new technique with these boots. Let's go. Shoot early, shoot early. Wait, wait, yeah! But I wasn't done there. I still had a crazy trick up my sleeve. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait! Oh my! Come on! It's the boot! It's the boot! I rounded it off with a long range knockable into the top corner. Well, not exactly, but it counts. The old school football gets the point. In the modern day, celebrations are a big part of the game. And over the years, there have been so many iconic ones. It's amazing to see players get so creative compared to the old days where it wasn't as creative. New football takes this one. And now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. It's match day. Match one is in the new kit. And to raise the stakes a bit, I set myself a challenge to score in both games. But if I don't, I'll have to do a forfeit. And it started pretty well for me, almost getting an assist straight away. Oh! In this kit, I felt more comfortable moving around, doing skills and getting a few nutmegs too. But the only thing that mattered for this test was scoring a goal. And I wasn't having very much luck with that. There was even a point where I dribbled past the whole team. But I just couldn't get my shot away. Literally the definition of 99 dribbling and zero shooting. But then after a long ball over the top, I went and did this. <laughs> I scored a crazy acrobatic goal and that meant I completed the challenge. So it went pretty well in the 2024 kit. But let's see how we do with the 1900s boots. I'm not looking forward to this. In the 1900s match, I had one goal and one goal only. And that is to score the greatest goal the 1900s has ever seen. And after all the tests, I felt confident that I could do it until I took my first touch. Hey, this isn't gonna work. It was clear I wouldn't last a minute in the 1900s. My bad boys. I'm gonna get seriously injured if I'm not careful. Testing the boots in an actual match versus actual players was so much harder than I expected. I can't get there, these. It felt like an impossible mission to get anywhere near scoring a goal on these boots. Come on, boys, press! Every time I ran, my feet hurt. And that was because we were playing on a 4G pitch. And these boots definitely weren't made for that. That being said, though, I was actually starting to get used to the boots. And I even brought out some five-star skills. And now, my full focus was on completing the challenge of scoring a goal. 
And after I somehow pulled off this crazy nutmeg, the chance fell in my hands. That would have been the best goal the 1900s has ever seen. Even after the miss, I refused to give up. I was getting so close to scoring the dream goal. And then finally, with one minute left, I produced a moment of magic. Finally, I got my goal. After all these tests, I've gained so much respect for the footballers of the past because I couldn't last a day in their shoes.